Hi, welcome to this episode of Paint Talk. Today I'm going to be talking about my experience with water-soluble oil paint. I'm Chris Fornatero, here to help simplify oil painting so you can get better, faster. Alright, so I recently did uh, some paintings with these water-soluble oil paints. I used uh, Windsor & Newton from Michaels. I did a portrait of the Beatles, uh, I think it was like 36 by 48 inch uh, canvas. I just used, you know, just regular uh, acrylic prime canvas with these. I uh, did some uh, beach landscapes, uh, you know, it's all pretty good, decent size paintings. So I feel like I, you know, painted enough to be able to confidently talk about my experience using these. All right, so I'll start off with the positive things that I encountered while using these water-soluble oil paints. All right, the first thing is that I was uh, pleasantly surprised at how much they actually felt like normal oil paints. Uh, I just, the first time I used them, I used just water I used it to you know thin out my paint if I wanted thicker paint I would just use less of it and you know I'd use the water to clean my brushes in between mixing colors or working on different sections of the painting whenever I needed to clean my brush and you know it was pretty good I uh, didn't have too many uh, complaints there so I was you know really surprised at how you know after a while I just kind of forgot that I was using the water soluble paint uh, so that was definitely a positive that I was not expecting going in. Another good thing is that you can use linseed oil if you want to or other mediums. Uh, I did for a little bit uh, use uh, linseed oil on certain sections. Um, the only thing I wasn't sure about was if I could still use the water and the oil because I feel like the water and the oil wouldn't mix or that it would have some kind of problem with uh, the paint cracking or anything like that. So I didn't use any water when I was using the linseed oil. Um, I just clean my brush by just wiping it a lot with uh, the paper towels, which did get a little bit annoying, but um, it was nice to know that I could still use the linseed oil uh, to make it just feel even more like regular oil paint. Uh, another great quality about these is that there's no fumes because you don't have to use paint thinner um, or you know any mediums if you don't want to, uh, which can be a very big deal. Uh, for certain people in your painting situation or if you are allergic um, you're you know living with people that don't want to smell paint fumes everywhere if you're like in a small apartment or something like that you know that can be you know a pretty big deal because that could could be the difference between you painting with oils or not is you know these fumes and stuff also you know related to that with paint thinner and the medium is that it's also gonna be cheaper you're not gonna have to keep buying medium and paint thinner to paint which is great you know I talk about this all the time in my videos that any way you can get rid of resistance to you painting whether it's financial physical mental anything like that do it because it's gonna make you paint more and if you feel like you will paint more using these water soluble paints because you won't have to spend as much money because you know the fumes are a problem with your physical painting space then definitely go for it and also the drying time was pretty slow, which I wasn't expecting. Uh, you know, that's one of the pluses that I like a lot about oil paints is the slow drying time. And, you know, I could paint on it one day and the next day it'd still be, uh, you know, relatively wet, especially if I use linseed oil to slow the drying time. You know, it acted very similar to regular oil paint. Well, now that I've said all of the positive things, I'm gonna get into a little bit of the negative side because there were a couple of negative things about using these. Uh, the first thing is the colors didn't seem to be as vibrant or strong with these. Again, I use, I use Windsor Newton oil paints, uh, water mixable oils from, you know, Michaels. I tried to look online for like a better, higher quality brand, but I couldn't find any. If anybody knows of any, please uh, put a link in this, uh, the comments so I can check those out. But it just felt like the colors weren't nearly as vibrant as regular oil paints and also mixing the colors when I mix colors, I, I do it pretty instinctually. I don't have to really think about it, but I, you know, I felt like I would be mixing, you know, to get to a certain color and I wasn't getting there. It was like kind of confusing. And I had to stop and think and look down and, and kind of change the way I do it. And I actually ended up having to buy a couple tubes of certain colors that I normally don't buy because I felt like I just wasn't able to get to certain colors uh, through mixing, you know, they just didn't mix together as well. And they, when you, I was mixing certain colors that I knew I should get, a, a, you know, this certain color, it wasn't happening. So I, you know, I ended up 
getting around it, you know, it didn't really hinder my results, but it was still like a little hurdle that I had to, you know, figure out. The other thing was, um, like I said before, like when I did use the linseed oil, I wasn't sure if I could still use the water. It just didn't seem to make sense to, to still use the water to clean my brush. So I was like, all right, if I'm using the linseed oil, how am I gonna clean my brush? And I ended up just cleaning it by wiping it on the paper towel a lot, which did get annoying. Um, and I kind of figured out it's best to probably just stick with one all the way through, whether it's oil or water, just pick one and use that all the way through. Um, I might be wrong on that. If I am, let me know in the comment section. Uh, I just wasn't gonna risk it, you know, any kind of cracking or messing up the paint in any way on these paintings. In the end, I, I kind of prefer using the water actually than the linseed oil. Um, just felt like I painted faster and was, you know, just more simple and, uh, I felt like I had like a wider range of what I could do with the paint when I use the water opposed to the linseed oil. All right, and the last negative thing, it's probably the most important was, even though this could be a good stepping stone for some people for oils, um, you know, if someone is intimidated by oils, which you shouldn't be, go watch my videos. It's, it's all about getting rid of the intimidation of oils. Um, but I understand like there's physical limitations with your, your space, financial and all that stuff. You know, and these could be a good, you know, ease into regular oil paints to see if you'd like them, if it's worth the financial investment or the time investment to actually learn them. But I can still, I could see it being a false step for somebody or a half step and never, and kind of pre preventing or pushing back, delaying actually using regular oils, which is, you know, what you want to do. Uh, it's almost like you're kind of putting regular oil paints and paint thinner and medium and all the things you got to do with that on the scary, you know, pedestal. It's, you, it's just one more, it's like you're sidestepping it and you're avoiding it. And I don't ever want anybody to be avoiding oil paints because you don't need to. It's not nearly as difficult or as intimidating as you think it is. So if you do decide to go with these, if you need to go, that's, that's a good way to put it. I would only use these if you really need to. And if you really need to, you're still getting, you know, an education with oil paint. You're still getting better, I feel like. Is it as much as you would with regular oil paints, having to use paint thinner, mediums, and all that stuff? No, but it's better than nothing. So, because, you know, I, the last thing I would want was somebody to start using these and then never really get to regular oil paints because they'll just get content and satisfied with these. And I mean, yeah, you could be making, you know, great paintings with them, but I just don't see why you wouldn't want to expand and have more options and knowledge, which you would using regular oil paints, just, you know, because that, you know, there's more information on there and more experience from other artists and stuff that use regular oil paints than use water soluble paints. I mean, you're gonna have a hard time finding like a workshop of a famous artist that uses water soluble oil paints. So if you do decide to do these, make sure you're doing it because you have to and you're not just taking the easy way out or scared of regular oil paints. All right, so that's my experience using water mixable oil paint. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you wanna hear me talk about a certain topic on oil painting uh, or you know art in general, uh, let me know in the comments section and I will make a paint talk on that. Uh, if you want to see what I'm painting on a daily basis, you can follow me on Instagram at Forza43. I'm Chris Fornatero here telling you to go get painting.